Hi guys, I am Jonilyn Usmani Torres, currently taking Bachelor of Physical Education at the Pitan Main Campus. I am here to present the biography and significant contributions of our Philippine national heroes and I choose Jose Rizal. Jose Rizal is the national hero of the Philippine and pride of the Malayan race. He was born on June 19, 1861 in the town of Calamba, Laguna. He was the seventh child in a family of 11 children, two boys and nine girls. Both his parents were educated and belonged to distinguished families. His father, Francisco Mercado Rizal, an industrious father whom Rizal called a model of fathers, came from Binyan, Laguna. While his mother, Theodora Alonso White Tos, a highly cultured and accomplished woman, whom Rizal called loving and prudent mother. And she was born on Misik Santa Cruz, Manila. At age of three, he learned the alphabet from his mother. At five, while learning to read and write, he already showed inclinations to be an artist. He astounded his family and relatives by his pencil drawings and sketches by his moldings of clay. At the age of eight, he wrote a Tagalog poem, Sa Aking Mga Kababata, the theme of which revolves on the love of one language. In 1877, at the age of 16, he obtained his Bachelor of Arts degree with an average of excellence from the Ateneo Municipal de Manila. In the same year, he enrolled in philosophy and letters at the University of Santo Tomas, while at the same time, took courses leading to the degree of surveyor and expert accessor at the Ateneo. He finished the latter course on March 21, 1877 and passed the surveyor's examination on May 21, 1878. But because of his age 17, he was not granted license to practice the profession until December 30, 1881. In 1878, he enrolled in medicine at the University of Santo Tomas, but had to stop in his studies when he felt that the Filipino students were being discriminated upon by their Dominican tutors. On May 3, 1882, he sailed for Spain where he continued his studies at the Universidad Central de Madrid. On June 21, 1884, at the age of 23, he was covered the degree of licentiate in medicine and on June 19, 1885, at the age of 24, he finished his course in philosophy and letters with a grade of excellence. He was an expert swordsman and a god shot. In the hope of securing political and social reforms for his country and at the same time educated his countrymen, Rizal, the greatest apostle of Filipino. Nationalism published while in Europe several works with highly nationalist and revolutionary tendencies. In March 1887, his darling book, Noli Mitangiri, is translated Touch Me Not or The Social Concert, a satirical novel exposing the arrogance and despotism of the Spanish clergy was published in Berlin. In 1890, he reprinted in Paris Morga Successos de las Islas Filipinas with his annotations to prove that the Filipinos had a civilization worthy to be proud of even long before the Spaniards set foot on Philippine soil. On September 18, 1891, Il Filibosterismo is translated The Reign of Greed. His second novel and a sequel to the Noli and more revolutionary and tragic than the latter. It was printed in Ghent. When the Philippine Revolutionary started on August 26, 1896, his enemies lost no time in pressing him down. They were able to enlist that link him 
with a revolt and they were never allowed to be confronted by him. From November 3, 1886 to the date of his execution, he was again committed to Fort Santiago. In his present seal, he wrote an untitled poem now known as Ultimo Adios, which is considered a masterpiece and a living document expressing not only the hero's great love of country but also that of all Filipinos. After a mock trial, he was convicted of rebellion, a man's sedition, and of forming illegal association in the cold morning on December 30, 1896. Rizal a man whose 35 years of life had been packed with pride activities which proved the Filipino has capacity to equal it not excel even those who treat him as a slave was shot at Bagumbayan field. And that's all. Thank you.